Dear grade 12 students, welcome to English 312, Unit 4, Lesson 2, Describing People. As usual, before I proceed further, I would please request you to bring your textbook, your notebook or a paper, pen or pencil, and your dictionary because you might need to refer to it. And have yourselves comfortably seated. The objectives that we will be covering. By the end of this lesson, you should have identified the layout and structure of a descriptive paragraph, located specific information related to describing people, written a paragraph describing people. Last time we took describing places, this time we're taking describing people. So it's similar, more or less. When you are going to describe a character or a person, what are the things that you take into consideration? If I asked you to describe your best friend to me, what are the things that you're going to mention it to me? Take 30 seconds, note them down fast, and keep them because we might need to refer to them later. Okay, let's see the definition here. A description of a person may answer some of the following questions. We always give you a set of questions that helps you or guides you to answer or to form a paragraph describing something. When we talk about a person or a character, what are the things that we should take into consideration? Who is the person? What does he or she do? What does he or she look like? How does he or she act? How is, how is his or her personality? How does he, she makes you feel? That's why when asking you mostly to describe someone, you always choose to remember someone you like because you're more comfortable saying all this information, sharing them with a smile. Adjectives, how do we do them? With adjectives, through adjectives. Okay, so a descriptive paragraph explains how someone looks or feels. Some useful adjectives, I'm giving you two types. You can add more. So personally, when you're going to talk about a person, you're going to say, or a character, he's out, outgoing, cheerful, nervous, serious, depressed, exciting, energetic, lazy, active, generous, friendly, mean, selfish, helpful, kind, etc. Whereas if you're going to talk about the physical characteristics, which is the appearance, you're going to say tall, short, fat, slim, slender, thin, Strong, elegant, nice looking, tiny, big, blonde, brown, straight, curly. We're talking about the hair here. Uh, blue eye and brown eye exit. Now here we gave you both. If you, if you fixated on or if you focused on the personality, we gave you some of the positive and some of the negative characters. Depending on the reason you're telling me or you're describing this person to me, you will be using them. Now, what I want you to do is that I want you to look at this paragraph, read the following description of, a writer, uh, of the writer's grandmother, and note the adjectives. First, I want you to read it. After you read it for two minutes, I'll give you two minutes, we'll read it together, then I'll give you 30 seconds to note the adjectives. Start reading it for now. Okay, let's read it all together. When I was young, I admired my grandmother because of her strength and kindness. She was not very big. In fact, she was tiny and very thin. She was strong and tough. She was a cheerful person who was always happy and smiling. My grandmother was also very patient and would always listen to me, to my problems. I also liked to spend time with her because she had interesting stories to tell about her experience. Okay, now I'll give you 30 seconds to note down the adjectives. Reminder, adjectives explains how someone looks or feels. So I'm giving you a hint. I'll also give you an example. Young. 30 seconds, please do the rest. I guess time is up. Let's check the answers. This is the second time we're doing the lesson, so I believe you're faster with the adjectives. Mm -hmm. 
So these are the adjectives. Young, big, strong, thin, tiny, tough, happy, patient, and interesting. So you're describing someone. You're telling us how he or she looks and feels. Okay, now, follow the model to, for, follow the model to write a short descriptive paragraph in which you describe your favorite relative or friend, answering these set of questions. Remember to include the personality and the physical characteristics while answering these questions. I'm expecting you here to have around five to seven minutes answering these, um, answering or writing a paragraph. Okay, let's check a possible answer. Again, I used a colored questions to match it with the answers so that it's easier for you to track it. Let's read it all together. So the questions are, who is the person? What does he or she do? What does he or she look like? How is his or her personality? How does he or she act? How does he or she make you feel? So let's read the paragraph together. I'll give you one minute to read it and then I'll read it along with you. Let's read it all together. The person I admire the most is my English teacher. He or she has been working as a teacher for a while. When you see him or her, he is or she is tall, thin, nice looking and so elegant. He or she has a round face with blue eyes and a straight dark hair. He or she is very attractive, very active and hardworking. He or she is the type of a person who is always positive and in a good mood. I find him or her most inspiring. Besides, he slash she is never tired or bored with his or her students and would always listen to us patiently and help us with good pieces of advice when needed. He or she is also very friendly and caring towards the students. I love my teacher because he or she is never aggressive and will always and would always find a way to solve problems peacefully. He or she is such an exceptional person. So they describe the entire person by giving us their per personal characteristics and their features and appearance. Similarly, more or less, I'm expecting you to write a paragraph while describing a person answering these questions. With that, we reach the end of the lesson. Thank you and see you soon.